G'day and welcome to another recording of Stellaris. Um, so the last video we did a uh, post-war uh, recheck of our civilization to make sure it's all good. Um, now what I want to do is focus purely on getting my fleet power up again. Uh, not purely, sorry. Uh, getting my fleet power up as well as getting this um, Dyson Sphere finished. Um, no research assignment. Um, I just want to see whether it's worth it. People who are out there probably go, I know it's what it is, blah, blah, blah. I do not. <laughs> I've never built one before. I want to do it without cheating. I'll only ever cheat if I want to if I'm playing something like a, um, I'm testing some things out and I'll give myself some minerals to test it. Otherwise, I'll play the game without cheating. Now, what's the point of playing a game if you're going to cheat? What, like, what's the point? So, I'm not going to cheat unless I, um, unless I'm testing something out. And even with this, uh, um, playthrough, I haven't actually, um, tested anything. I just started fresh from the Apocalypse upgrade. I haven't gotten any of the other major upgrades in the last year either, so it's been um, over a year since I've upgraded anything. So um, I didn't have this thing here. I didn't have the mega structures, or not the mega, uh, not as they are now. I think there was something I could build. I can't remember what it was. I don't think you could build the Dyson Sphere and Ring Worlds. I don't ever remember building one of them before. I remember you could conquer them. They took a lot to take down. Um, but in general, um, yeah, I try to not cheat. Um, I am trying now to save up as much mineral as possible. If anything, I will build, um, platforms. I think I, I, I had just, um, started building, uh, construction ships. Civilian ship, yeah. So I just built a whole heap of construction ships at the end of the last video. Because what I plan on doing with these is building platforms, um, orbital habitats. So as you can see in this system alone, I can build uh, one, two, three, four, four, I can build four uh, planetary platforms and get an extra 48 population. That 48 population, at least half of it would be doing um, mineral production. You know, so that would pump my minerals out. To maintain this mineral, um, a few of them would be building, um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, no, 10,000, I'm not gonna waste it. I will send the, them all in here, because this is the only place. I don't need constructors, everything is built. All the um, sectors build their own resources. So I'll just send my constructors there, so after I've um, built this up... Uh, okay, keep them happy with... Uh, the only agreements I won't do is research. I don't want them to be as strong as I am, because I've pretty much given up on the rest of the um, uh, universe, <laughs> uh, galaxy, and I'm just going to conquer it. I'm just going to take them out one, one little sector, uh, sector at a time. I'm going to start with this one in the middle here, um, because they don't have too many friends. They've only got one, two friends. One's a huge one, and I think one's a tiny one. Um, but the huge one is way on the opposite side of the galaxy. So by the time they get their fleet over here, I'm hoping to have wiped them out. And when I wipe them out, I'm hoping that they will, you know, they've got nothing to fight for because now that they're destroyed, there's nothing to fight for. So hopefully I can expand my territory out here. And I think there's a wormhole over here somewhere. Uh, over here so if I can ex take them on um, then kind of work my way through here just slowly taking one at a time but the th problem is that half the galaxy is actually in one federation fighting off the scourge and as you can see the scourge doesn't seem to be um, I don't know thinking of what they're doing. They seem to just be scattered. They're not centralized. Um, before they were like, they'd come back, bubble out, and then, you know, the, the rest of them would fight back. But they, now they've got two systems left, and their ships just seem to be sitting out there doing nothing. 
I have no idea what's going on. Um, yeah, they're just... They're not fighting. They don't seem to be fighting each other. They just seem to be sitting there doing nothing. So... Yeah. Little confused. Um, I'm not sure what to talk about just now. Um, I guess I could send my fleet up. I don't really need them. If I merge my fleets together and then send them up here to attack... Is this the one that... Yeah, these two have the Titans. So if I move the Titan from here and put them on here... Actually, if I merge these two together... There you go. Merge those two together. Oh, they're in separate systems because of the wall. I had not put them back into the systems. So if I... Yep, yeah, okay. So I'm going to go back up here. There should be a gateway there so this they should use a gateway down my end and end up here yep so they're gonna end up here so once um, these two merge and actually stop it I'll send them all here and they can merge when they arrive whoa I didn't realize there's another gate okay there's, uh, there's gateways everywhere so there's an ancient um, civilization is built gate ah uh, so my admiral did die I had an immortal admiral and I was wondering whether or not they would actually be killed if the ship was destroyed. No. Why aren't they in control of the... Why did they leave the fleet? So they're not dead. So this one's immortal. Um, again, I don't know why they left the fleet, but... Um, and this one left the fleet as well. Not sure what happened there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start fighting them. This is what I had planned before I got attacked in the um, Civil War. So my plan here is to have my, have my ships take a sector, build an outpost on it, and expand my territory up here. Um, once I've built the, once I've got the, um, see what I was going to do is build outposts, but I can't actually do that now because I've, I've reached my peak by trying to get my um, energy output and everything up to standard. So what I'm gonna try to do now is, uh, I will send my civilian ships, all of them. I think I need to get a scientist on that ship because it died just before the end of the last video. Yep, okay. Don't really care. Um, so my fleet will just be here. This will be where they'll just be hanging out until I'm ready to send them out. So what I have to do is I don't think my fleet can actually attack this. I should be able to attack this, but you can't enter a system that you don't know. You have to send your um, science fleet in first. But if I send my science ship in, it's going to flee before it does any research. And then I can't send my fleet in. So I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work. Um, we'll see in a minute when I get my fleet sorted. Um, what's that called? Ulcad. So when that says Ulcad, I'll know. But building the outpost will cost a bit to build. But I am going to focus mostly on consumer goods have gone up again. Damn it! The ship upkeep hasn't changed as I'm not actually building any more ships. Um, but I need to get my mineral output up again. If I want to get that to fifty thousand fast, I need to get this up again. And to do that, I've got to build. Um, platforms for mineral production the platforms cost 10,000 so uh, it's a loop it's a never ending never ending loop um, the planets I've got have already got fully maxed out uh, mines see they're laying claims to systems that they have never even seen I don't I don't understand this whole claim claiming thing Apparently I can just I can just start claiming system after system after system. So let's have a look. I can claim. Let's have a look. Can I, let's have a look at the claims. Okay. Let's um. Okay. 
we're not even at war, but they can claim, but because of my civics, I can't claim systems that aren't mine, but they can claim systems that aren't theirs. Welcome to logic. Um, I can't claim this system back because that is a one system empire. They somehow came out of nowhere, came out of existence from nowhere and claimed that system. It's the, literally the only system they own. So I don't know exactly know how they came into existence. So um, I am going to... Ah, I can't lay claim to my own system again. This is why the Federation thing is not worth it. I Next time I play the game, I'm going to start as a war warrior. And so once this gets to there, I will um, merge them and then send them out. Um, let's see... That's, um, yeah, so my fleet's nowhere near strong enough to take on that. But what can I do? I have to, I have to do something. I have to try to expand my territory. And this little ra ra um, uh, trail up here is the only way to do that. But as you can see, everyone's landing claim. So if I fight for this and lose my ships, someone else can just go, that's mine and take it. That's the way the game works now. That is frustrating. Where are you? Okay, you're at the last jump. Okay. Um, that, there you go. Someone else is claiming something that belongs to me as theirs. So, click and click and merge. Okay. When they're ready. The game's on extra fast, so this shouldn't take so long. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send both fleets here. Oh, I can actually do it. Awesome. Civil civil ships. Yeah, they're still on their way. So let's see how this goes. I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to get wiped out because my fleet's not strong enough. Um, 107 against 111. But again, I'm not sure if my ships upgraded the way I wanted them to. These large ships will take out the shields from a distance. These two. These three are kind of um, armor related. They're going to take the armor out as they get closer. And then little ships will take out the um, the hull of the ship. So I'm hoping by the time the two, sh the two um, fleets clash, most of the shields will be wiped out. The problem is, the ships will only target one ship at a time, so even if this will only hit shields, I, I'm not sure if it will target a, separate, a different ship once the shields are down, or we'll just keep firing at that one ship. So I'm just hoping that I've got enough shield damage on these three. I'm pretty sure these two have shields, and I think this one had a bit of shield damage. But I started going to armor and hull as I go down there. So shields, armor, and hull sort of thing. So this is a mid-range, and that was the back. And I'm hoping that will be enough to um, destroy this fleet. We'll find out in a second. Uh, let's wait, obviously, and wait. Oh, here we go. Awesome. Okay, where's the other fleet? That was supposed to be right behind it. It was literally next to it. Uh, okay, this is what... Oh, here we go. A bit late now. Pretty much just lost this entire fleet to this. The reason I sent them exactly at the same time is because they were supposed to enter exactly at the same time. See, look, my fleet's gone. Not, no damage whatsoever. Uh, I, knew, I knew this would be the case. I'll just lose my entire fleet. It's that simple. Um, as long as I'll pause this game before I get wiped out. Okay, so brood mother. As long as this thing. Oh no, that's a brood mother. Hey, this is different. The largest ones are on the top, and the largest ones are on the bottom. And as you can see, my fleets are gone. My fleets are dead because they didn't arrive at the same time. Sixteen four. 
21. So there's not much difference in damage between their smallest and largest ships. So this thing here, here we go, this is what I'm looking for. As long as this thing survives, it will re-spawn re, um, ships because it's a living entity. So as long as this thing survives, it will be able to respawn another 100,000 level fleet from itself. So let's have a look. Yeah, see if these two attacked at the same time, there would have been a lot more damage. There you go. Leader died, a uh, scientist died, not uh, Get rid of this pointless thing. Ah, look at that. That would have been helpful five seconds earlier. Like I said, now my mineral pro oh look at that mineral production. I was I was using seven hundred to maintain my fleet. Now that I don't have a protective fleet, just watch all the other mili military forces come and attack me. He can't defend himself. Let's let's do let's do the right thing and wipe him out. So now my fifty thousand goal is closer. Hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be actually able to start the next phase of the um, the Dyson Sphere. And if it's as good as I imagine it to be, it might be worth it. Just just for the Dyson Sphere alone, if it's even half as good as I think it was going to be, it might might actually be worth it. Because what I'm thinking is a ring world has four 25 slots on it. And it counts as four planets, even though it's one giant ring. So this thing must have dozens, hundreds of worlds within it. Um, I don't think the game would calculate it that way. I don't think it would give you a hundred squares of 25. That doesn't make any sense. My theory is that it gives you one square of 25, <coughs> but anything you, you build on there, that one square will produce like a hundred of that one resource sort of thing. That's my theory behind what the, the Galactic Wonder is. The sensor array I'm not too fussed about. My ship's sensors are pretty good as they are. And the Science Nexus. The higher the level you are, the less, the less important that Science Nexus becomes. You can only build one of each. So if the um, Dyson Sphere is as powerful as I think it's going to be, it might be worth getting this one Galactic Wonders just for that one structure. And then um, the ring worlds, I think you can build as many as you like. So if I get that Dyson Sphere in uh, my own system where I can control it and it outputs at what I want, and as a if it outputs a lot of resources like I think it will, then I can actually just mix and match and rebuild a... Um, if I've got too much energy but not enough minerals, I can swap that energy production for a mineral production, just build over it. I'm hoping that's the way it works. But we'll, we'll, be, we'll be finding out in a couple of... What? Oh, because my ships came back home. Yep, okay. So let's have a look. That, that one and that one will merge. One of the admirals will actually go into... Ah, the one I wanted to keep... Um, so now that they're back, my energy product, uh, my mineral production has gone down by 300 because now I'm actually, instead of being lost in space and fending for themselves, they're back home and I'm actually protecting them. So as you can see, that backfired majorly. That's why I wanted to merge them into one. That's why you've got to have your, f ooh, my fleet capacity, look at that, because I built all those anchorages in the last video. It's like gone from 200 up to 300, so that's like, bam. Um, and then, so what I've got to focus on now is researching fleet, uh, not fleet, naval capacity is good enough for now. I want to increase my fleet size, so I've got to in, uh, research the fleet. I think it's here, it's in, is it here or here? Oh, it doesn't matter, oh, there we go, lost the scientist, okay. Create a random one, allow it to happen. As long as I've got a scientist in there, I'm not going to be too fussed. I'm just frustrated and want this game to end. It, I screwed up in the beginning, and that set me back for the rest of the game. It's my own fault, but that last war, that internal war, was complete and utter bullshite. Um, 
the way it happened was just a joke. The, the way I had thought I had built the empire, and I hadn't actually... I, again, when you're trying to do something and explain it to someone, you'll actually miss the little bits, and the little bits are the most important bits. So my empire was supposed to be a federation, everyone is welcome, and the androids would be part of a sentient species that can join the federation. But what happened was, um, the... Edicts, the ethics I chose wouldn't allow for sentient robots or us, uh, robots to be part of my my um, world. So as soon as they started to the build, I uh, I got my ass kicked by robots. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to build a specific way, you've got to be very, 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 very specific in what you choose, and you've got to read the fine print. Okay. Okay, so I don't get why they're just sitting there doing nothing. That might be the way to go. They seem to be, for some reason, keeping this corridor and this corridor. I don't know why. Why they're just sitting there doing nothing instead of attacking. Maybe it's something to do with the internal game clock. It says, oh, they've, they've fought enough, let's stop it. I don't understand why they're not doing any more. They've been in the system... Uh, the um, the galaxy for 150 years and for the first hundred or so years they were fighting non-stop and I think the last yeah 50 years or so they just stopped so maybe the end game crisis kind of slows down after a hundred years I don't know um, nothing seems to be changed no one seems to be gaining or losing any territory um, they keep moving their capital back and forth. I don't see how they could have lost this system to anyone, because they haven't lost these two systems to anyone. So why they why they've lost this system, I don't understand. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Four hundred a month. A thousand. Uh, every two months. Uh, I'm trying to calculate this in my head and I've got a headache. A uh, thousand um, every two months. So 20 months is 10,000. So every two years, for every two years I get a 10,000. So 05. Um, so it'll be the end of 07. No, the end of, yeah, the end, end of 07. At the earliest, and that's just a rough guesstimation. I'm probably way off. You ever have to wait to look at it again? Huh? Now you'd be oh nine, dude. I don't know. I don't know. But I want to focus solely on that damn Dyson sphere. No cheating. Okay, so all my science and civilian ships are up here. So if those things decide to move, they're going to be wiped out. But they're on invasion, so they should leave. Whether or not they flee down here or down there, I don't know. Um, okay, so my my thought was that they had um, changed the warp travel, that you had to start off like this, but then you could de de develop the warp drive to skip across. But what they've done is they've completely deleted that altogether, and they've replaced that jumping across with the stargates and the wormholes what I don't comprehend is why they have both because they both do exactly the same thing they both have the exact same purpose um, the only difference is all the gateways seem to be interconnected so no matter where you want to go the gateways will go there the only difference is the wormholes have a, uh, a one-way thing so this one might end up let's have a look this one might end up here, and the one next to it might end up there, and they only go back and forth, back and forth, and this one go back and forth, back and forth. But the start, the the gateways would jump to whatever other gateways in existence, is from what I can tell, because the two, the one over here and the one over here, both connected to the same one up here. So my guess is the natural phenomenon are a a um, a stagnant one-way trip sort of thing, connected between. Uh, two points that won't change 
whereas the gateways will connect to whatever other gateways in existence which means I don't understand the point of the wormhole it doesn't make why does the wormhole exist if you can just build a gateway um, yeah um, I'll probably turn the wormholes off the next game and I'll bring the gateways down I have this at one and there's at least eight oh, no, sorry I had the I had the wormholes at one and there's at least eight wormholes in this and the, the as you can see down in this sector here look at all these gateways where's the other ones there's one two there's another one where is it uh, three four five just in this little qu quarter of the uh, little corner of the galaxy six and seven just here there's seven of them and I had it at level one so I might turn them down to uh, point I think point two five is the minimum which should only have one wormhole and probably uh, a dozen a dozen um, gateways but you can build your own gateways eventually um, I'm not sure if you can lock them to your own ship so only your ships can use them uh, that would be a good thing um, wormholes are a thing if you control the sector you control the wormhole but with the gateways if anyone can use them and you've built a gateway like smack bam in your headquarters the enemy fleet can use the gateway to get your just attack you from the inside while your fleet's out on the border so I'm not sure if that's a tactical thing you've got to think of where you have to decide where you want to build the gates if you want to build them at all or if you do build it here no ships can actually enter it because it's your it's your um, power signature I'm not sure if any of you watch a lot of science fiction but each civilization has their own power signature own sort of power source and certain ships will activate you know a certain um, gate not like gateway but a doorway to get into a, a star base or something you know certain things um, if you don't match the energy signature of the requirement the, the the missile battery will fire on you so I'm not sure if building a stargate yourself or a gateway I keep calling the stargate but they call it a gateway so if I say stargate I'm sure you you can draw the dots together um, uh, I'm not sure if the gateway will only accept your own ships or those of your um, allies as well so um, I guess it's going to take a lot more gameplay um, I haven't actually focused solely on the game and played it I've been playing this and explaining what I'm doing the whole time so once I get to video 40 I'm just going to stop no matter what um, once I might do a video 41 I might use cheats and that to give myself um, unlimited resources, I don't think you can do it, do that, but you can give yourself a hundred thousand resources, you know, um, and then I'll just build all the things, um, I can, there's, an, there's an instant build um, cheat where as soon as you click on something and build it, so as long as you've got one constructor here, no matter where you build, you'll just go, you'll have that constructor, you'll right click and build, build the um, mines, and they'll just magically appear and your constructor won't move but you've got to have the constructor active to do that um, when you click on your um, planets and build a building they won't automatically upgrade to the latest one but they will build instantly you don't have to wait for that that uh, month to go before the buildings are there so there are different cheats I can use which I, I don't want to do because I want to play this game vanilla without any mods or anything the only mod I would want to try is the Star Trek Horizons, our New Horizons. The guy that did that mod for the last game did a brilliant job. Um, I'm hoping he gets, um, he has the um, the willpower. I'm not sure what the word is, the um, energy to re redesign the game and put it out with this one. Because when this game was released, it broke the mod, and when that, when when something breaks a mod, the mod will lo no longer work. Because the um, the, f the workings of this game have changed so much that the s the math behind the Star Trek mod actually not doesn't work anymore. It won't actually function. I think in the Star Trek mod, he actually had Titan level ships. 
I'm not, I'm, not, I'm actually ex surprised that my um, research is going as fast as it is. As it is. Oh, it's actually going up again. Okay, awesome. Armor. I want armor. If I can take more damage, more hits, then I'll be happy. Star base capacity. I really. Yep, that's the one I'll take. So if I can't get um, naval capacity or military capacity, I'll go for star base capacity. Because now that I realize how important these things are, again, I didn't realize how useful these and important these things were until uh, later in the game. So, um, Titans are a new class of ship. Uh, Battleship used to be the biggest one, now Titan is. Um, so, now, um, in the Star Trek one, I, I think the only one that had a Titan class ship was the Borg, and that was some sort of huge Unimatrix Zero Borg cube. I, I never actually got to build it, I never actually um, got around to it. Let's have a look. I'm not sure if I can do this without screwing up. Okay. As you can see, um, Borg and, you know, Fort Federation, I, I just tried different, I created empires for the um, game. I've deleted all these because I wanted to start the, the game vanilla. And I, th I think the Voth, I, I don't actually remember playing as the Voth, to be honest. 2000, no, I was going to say 2010, that's probably, <laughs> I don't know what, when this was saved. Yeah, so, how do I cancel? There we go, cancel, resume. Um... Yeah, so I can't actually play any of those games because the the save file is broken because the game's broken. I'm um, also I've also, also deleted the mods anyway. Um, so I'm hoping he redoes the game and he figures out what he can do. Like there are plenty of Federation ships that can be turned into a uh, dreadnought. I think the latest, if if nothing else, the um, Enterprise D from the alternate future that had that extra um, phaser cannon built onto the front of it. That could be the Federation Dreadnought. I'm pretty sure in some other Star Trek games it is considered a Dreadnought. Um, then there's the Enterprise E or F, you know. Um, no, was it G? Yeah. What was the one from Enterprise? The Enterprise TV series had the Federation Enterprise from the future. It was like G or H come from the future. And that can be the Dreadnought, you know. It's simple enough, but even this... Yeah, oh, oh dang it! I paused it to check something and left it, and I thought, I'll drabble on, get my bloody resource, and yeah, I left it on pause. I'm a dumbass. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of different mods out there. Um, there's a mod that will unlock all 20. So when you unlock this one, it locks off another branch of research you can do, another perk tree. So it locks off another four things. But the mod itself unlocks all 20. And that might be a good way to cheat, uh, use a mod or for cheating to unlock. Um, there's one of these allows for an edict where on your planets, uh, let's just uh, let's close that off, have a look at Earth. On uh, any planet that has less than 25 squares, you go to your edicts here you click on the edict to do it and what happens is there's a random amount from one to three squares up to 25 so um, if you have a, a, a smaller planetoid you got one to three squares but this mod now allows you to redo that edict over and over and over again so as long as you've got the um, resources required to activate that edict you can do it over and over and over again and get 25 on all your planets. I don't think it works on habitats. It might. It might work on habitats. I'm not entirely sure. But the um, the instructions on building a habitat actually said that it will only be 12, so I don't know. Um, that's an edict I might look at next time. Again, I know how to use the cheats to turn anything so let's go back to um, here I can turn even this dead world I can turn this world and this moon into 25 square Gaia worlds I know how to do that with cheats um, I can add resource output of this planet to um, a thousand mineral so if you <laughs> if you're doing the one world challenge I'm not exactly how that sure how that works you take on a galaxy of a thousand species with one world. I, I honestly can't figure that out. 
Um, the One World Challenge. If you want to cheat, you can actually have your planets, your entire solar system, um, output research and stuff. Um, so if you go to planet Earth, I guess if you're going to have the One World Challenge, you wouldn't be able to colonize Mars or anything like that. So you could go to Earth, put your cheat in, and your food output, well, you wouldn't need it for one planet, but you can put the food output to a 1,000 or 100,000. So the planet itself would produce 100,000 divided by uh, 18, no, 16, sorry, and that square will put that out. Um, you can do that with any resource in the game. So there's so many cheats out there, uh, mods that make the game different. Like the Star Trek mod was brilliant, it changed everything. I'm not much of a, I, I don't hate it, but I'm not that much of a Star Wars fan compared to um, Star Trek. But there's a Star Wars mod that changed it to the factions of Star Wars. I think there was a bab, actually. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ba bam. Awesome. I will end the video here. Actually, no, I won't. I'll pause the video and save it. Save the game. Tuba, yep. Um, I'll exit out. And I'll quickly check here. We'll just quickly check. Bros, uh, bros. Browse the workshop. So here's a here's just one here. It, that you had that nice thick border. This one makes it thin li thin lines. Automated trade. Okay. So we'll try try this. Okay. So species. Let's have a look. So um, any sort of games you play, uh, any TV shows you watch, I'm pretty sure some of these will have um, species from it. Dragon Ball races, <laughs> um, enhanced gene modding. So you can genetically modify your species, whereas this one might just add. I'll actually tell you, rename blah blah. I can actually rename your species, modify. You can do all sorts of things. Oh, this one's broken. This one won't work with 2.0, 2.0.1, 2 I think it is. But you can get the sh the idea of what it does. So. If, if you're bored with the game for whatever reason, it would take you a few playthroughs to get bored with it. But you can see there's different species to choose from. I'll deselect that. Spaceships. Um, Ultra Dreadnought. I'm not sure what that does. Stellaris ship set. So someone's probably um, done what, like I showed you in the previous video, how to build a fleet up in your own, in your own sort of way. Someone's obviously probably done something where they've built the fleet and once you upload this mod, the fleet will always upgrade to that specific model. I, I'm only guessing that. Stations return. That would be awesome. If you could have these stations back. Defense platforms. It's like having a, the station in the middle and then having stations all the way around your empire. Or around your star system. No one will be able to conquer your system with that amount of firepower protecting it. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is completely changed. I wanted to show you something, but obviously. Co total conversion. Let's have a look. Doctor Who. All the species from Doctor Who. I'm not sure what ship models I'd be using, because I don't remember seeing many ships. Stargate. Um, Star Trek New Horizons. I think. I don't know. Oh, Cherry Combat. Oh, so he's upgraded it. I'm just gonna sorry. I'm just gonna check this. If he's if this is oh cancel. Uh, what is this Star Trek? That is the one. Oh, Kent's content sub mod. There it is, right there. Bam. Okay, subscribe. <laughs> okay, I don't know why he didn't put that into one. I don't understand what the difference is between these. Subscribe. Um, okay. Sorry about that. Homeworld. If you've ever played the game Homeworld, the ship models from that have been moved to this. Um, it's a very different gameplay, Homeworld. Uh, but it's basically... I think I've got the game somewhere. Dune. Star Wars. There you go. Bam. 
Novus. So there's a whole heap of different mods you can use. Um, technologies. Um, let's have a look. Extra ship components. Uh, plentiful traditions. Whoa. So um, I think with e with each edict. Oh, look at that. You can unlock them all. Okay, it's with 2.0, but I think the game is now 2.0.1. So this is one of the mods I, this item has been added to your subscriptions. So let's just go back, all the way back, um, start the game again. Let's play the game. I think I've been going for almost an hour, so this is, um, I'll close that off. <laughs> Mods. Where are my mods? DLC mods. Oh, maybe I've got to reset the start the game, so I'll close it off completely. Oh, it's oh, it's downloading the mods now. No. Is it? Okay, let's have a look. Okay. Not sure what's going on. Oh, maybe they're huge mods. Maybe it takes a lot while to download. But when I start the next game, we'll see what that does. I have everything on automatic update, so that will upgrade. I'm not going to activate the mod until I finish this playthrough. But you can see there's um, a large modding community in here. Um, you've got all of these um, upgrades to the game, so. I don't know if um, you have to have all the previous upgrades to have this one work. I'm sure there'll be something in the patch notes about that. But yeah, I oh, I did get that, dang it. Um, I thought I'd turn that off. Um, so basically, this was only half the list. I, I, I downloaded about six or seven of these with the, uh, with the Apocalypse upgrade. So a lot of this I never played with before, but um, if I can get the um, game working, I'll I'll show you the next game the next time I start a video. Um, so I'm just going to end the videos the same way I always do. These are the platforms I work with, including Ark. Um, if you know of any other platforms or games, I'm really I'll, I'll be willing to um, give them a go. These are the games I'm thinking of doing videos for. Um, and I'll also be um, looking at looking at Subnautica. I'm always looking at this one. It's about thirty Australian dollars. I can afford it, but because I'm not going to play it straight away, I'm not going to buy it just yet. Um, so, if you got any suggestions on games or platforms, or how to make my content better in general? I'm willing to take um, any comments um, to help that. Oh, I've only been going for 43 minutes. Okay. Um, I thought I was well over an hour. I must have misjudged the time like I always do. So I'm just going to end the video the same way. Um, please leave comments on how to make this channel better. Keep the comments civil and I'll see you in the next video.